Welcome back to the Independent Republic of Mike Graham right here on Talk TV. Much for us to do. Alex Phillips coming up at 11 o'clock uh, with the latest on the migrant bill and the migrant crisis and what the uh, new rules are going to be, uh, particularly for people claiming to be coming to this country and then saying that they're children even though they might be, in some cases, as old as 41. Uh, that's not a very good look, is it? But let's talk more about the BBC. And let's talk not specifically about the scandal, although the scandal is certainly a scandal, but let's talk about the list of earners at the BBC, because actually that was what Tim Davey was supposed to be announcing yesterday. It was time for the BBC's annual report. Uh, and they've now got what can only be described as a top 50, a rogues gallery of people who make an awful lot of money, some of whom for doing very little indeed. Now I was saying earlier that one of the things that come, jumps right out at you is John McEnroe coming in at number 46 because he makes 209,999 which is an increase of about 25,000 on last year. Now you might say that he's worth it. Kevin O'Sullivan said this is a guy who's a celebrity, he's a former uh, multi-champion at Wimbledon, uh, he's won Grand Slams all over the world. Yes, he is a good man to have in that commentary box, but it does seem to be quite a lot of money to pay somebody, £100,000 a week just for the two weeks that he does Wimbledon. Meanwhile, of course, you can go right to number one and get Gary Lineker for £1.35 million. Pounds. He is the highest paid BBC presenter. Zoe Ball, number two, 984,000. Alan Shearer, number three, up to 449,000, practically 450. Hugh Edwards has gone up from 414,000 last year to 439,000 this year. Extraordinary. And he is the only newsreader whose salary actually went up. Stephen Nolan comes in at number five, 404,000. Fiona Bruce comes up to number six with 400,000. Greg James, also 400,000. Ken Bruce is in there, even though he's now left. He was making 394,000. Lauren Laverne, uh, up to 394,000. And Sophie Rayworth, that's the top 10, 369,000. And they all end up with 999, but effectively 370 grand a year. An extraordinary amount of money. And you might say, for not doing an awful lot. You know, many of these people would not get that kind of money if they went to work anywhere else in the commercial world of news. It just simply wouldn't happen. And I can tell you that because that's the world that we all work in. Some of this money is ludicrous. And as I said before, many of these salaries are not even actually revealed because BBC Studios, which is an independent um, production company arm of the BBC, pays for things like EastEnders, Happy Valley, Doctor Who, Peaky Blinders, Call the Midwife, The One Show, uh, so all sorts of people like Michael McIntyre, Tess Daly, Claudia Winkleman, um, Richard, Alexand Richard Osman, Alexand um, Alexander Armstrong, Sandy Toxvig, Victoria Corrin, Ramesh Ranganathan. These are all people whose salaries don't even appear on the list because they're kind of held in secret. This has got to stop. Surely, not just the scandal, but also now the amounts of money that are being paid to some of these people, and some of these people are behaving in ways which are simply untenable. It can't go on. The BBC, surely to heavens, has to now be told by the government that we cannot in any way, shape or form continue to use the way uh, the system that we currently use. The licence fee must go. The licence fee must now become something which is voluntary. You should pay for it if you want it. You should pay for bits of it if you want them. Maybe you only want local radio. Maybe you only want BBC One. You should be able to pay for what you watch or what you listen to and the rest of it, if you don't want to, you shouldn't have to pay a single penny because this is getting ridiculous. And when you talk about people trying to pay their bills, trying to pay their mortgages, trying to pay their um, you know, electricity uh, bills which are going through the roof, their mortgages, when you see that somebody who you've probably never heard of called Simon Jack is getting up to 215 grand a year or Sarah Smith, 225,000. Chris Mason, political um, editor, 230,000. Faisal Islam, 235,000. Trevor Nelson, 250,000. You know, it's too much. And it's all our money, by the way. You know, if they want to earn it in a commercial sector, go and earn it in a commercial sector. That's fine. Make, make as much money as you want and pay tax because that's what the government wants, of course. But this, I'm afraid, is too much. It's time to end it. End it now put it out of its misery and put us out of our misery. We don't need to be told to pay a tax to watch television. Sorry. Just watch Talk TV for free. Simple. George is here. He's in Middlesex. Hello, George. Oh, good morning, mate. Morning, sir. What can I do um, for you? 
I mean, this money that they're paying these presenters is absolutely outrageous. It's, it's a joke, isn't it? Absolute it is joke. Our money, right? And they're paying these people are getting paid more than the prime minister. More than the, I think they're getting paid more than the president of the United States. I know. It's not paying. We're getting more than the president of Russia, by the way, but. <laughs> The United States, definitely. Um, it's just, I mean, how do you justify 450 grand for reading the news off an auto queue? I know. What any child could do. Exactly. I mean, that's it. Literally reading out loud. Incredible. I mean, another thing, if you look at the BBC. It's, a, it's basically, it's a, it's a protection racket. You are forced to pay, whether you like it or not, for a service you don't want or never going to use. £159 per year per year on pain of a fine or imprisonment. Yeah. Even the mafia never come out with the... And uh, it's only uh, women, generally speaking, right. that get imprisoned as well, by the way. For some reason, they like imprisoning elderly women for not paying their TV licence fees. It's a disgrace. I mean, it's absolutely... I mean, everybody in the country should just say, right, that's it, boom, we're not paying. If, they, what, if it's so good, as they say, go do what Netflix do, become a subscription service, yeah. let's see how many people... Well, if people want it, can pay for it. If you don't want it, you don't pay for it. Simple. But they know full well no one will pay. Because it's a load of rubbish. Yeah. Nothing but repeats. It's an absolute load of garbage. Right. A load of left-wing drivel. I mean, it's just absolutely... And, of course, it's it's, it's outrageous what's going on with this other guy. Um, yeah, I mean, who knows what's going on there? And how much else is going on inside of this corporation? There are so many people working in there, nobody seems to know what the hell is happening. They've got 6,000 journalists, for God's sake. When was the last time they broke a story? Uh, this is Talk TV. Got to run. Thank you very much indeed, George in Middlesex.